Today's topic of discussion is a numerical related to psychrometry chart, which was asked in summer 2016. A surrounding air having dBT that is dry bulb temperature 38 degree centigrade and RH that is relative humidity is 60% is converted to conditioned air having dry bulb temperature 26 degree centigrade and wet bulb temperature 24 degree centigrade. We have to plot the process on psychrometry chart and find out the following properties of conditioned air that is RH specific humidity enthalpy specific volume and bypass factor of cooling air and apparatus dew point temperature so let's see how it is done first we will write down the data which has been provided the given data is initial condition that is dbt that is t db1 is equal to 38 degree centigrade and rh that is relative humidity phi1 is equal to 60 percent final condition that is dry bulb temperature dbt that is t db2 is equal to 26 degree centigrade and wet bulb temperature that is t wb2 is equal to 24 degree centigrade as you can see that the dry bulb temperature has been reduced from 38 degree centigrade to 26 degree centigrade from initial to final condition so now we will see how it is done we have to first mark the initial and the final condition on the psychrometry chart. So, I have taken a psychrometry chart, a simple one, just to explain. So, what you have to do, first you have to see here and you have to get 38 degree centigrade. So, this is 35, this is 36, 37, 38 and then you have to make the line darker such that you are plotting it. So, 38 degrees you got and you have to have rh is equal to 60 percent so this is rh 60 percent so 38 we have to just take it till it meets the line at rh as 60 percent so once it is plotted okay so this is the line 38 degree line which goes up and then it meets the 60 percent rh once that is done then we have to see 26 degree centigrade so this is 25 and next is 26 this line goes up and then we have been given wet bulb temperature as 24 degree centigrade so here the temperature has been given 10 15 20 so we have to search for 24 this is 24 line and this is 26 degrees so where it meets it becomes your 26 degrees okay and 24 degrees so it meets here okay so you got those two points and then you have to join the two points the final condition and the initial condition initial final condition you have to join with a line so once you get that line and now based on your marking you have to solve the problem further so let's see now i will shift from here to the explanation okay of the problem so what we have to do now with the psychrometry chart so here it is the psychrometry chart so as I showed you in psychometry that I have plotted taken 38 degree centigrade and 60% RH and got first point and then I took the second 26 degree centigrade and from here 24 degrees then I met here so it is actually 85% that line because here it was 80% and here it was 90% and it was in between so we have taken phi 2 is equal to 85 percent and then when we take extend this line this is t dp2 we got 23 degree centigrade and when we extended this w2 we got as 0 0.018 and when we saw this specific volume lines which is like this so here we got somewhat near 0.85 and other reading in between so we have taken 0.87 so now 
after plotting now we can see the values of different things what we have been asked so now with the diagram let's see we have been asked first the rh so here the line 26 degrees Twenty six degree. Here, if you see this twenty six degree, we met with twenty four here. So you can see this is eighty percent, and this is ninety percent line. So this line we can consider as eighty five percent RH line. So RH we got eighty five percent. Then we need to find specific humidity. Specific humidity is W two. So here. if we follow this line and go this side you can see that it is 0.018 so we got specific humidity 0.018 kg per kg of dry air then we have to find enthalpy if you see this line okay Yeah, we yeah, have this one. So if we just go this side and see on the enthalpy line, so where are we? So this is seventy, this is seventy one, this is seventy two, and this is seventy three. So it is seventy two point five. So we can take it as seventy two point five or seventy three kg per kg. So we got the enthalpy. Now we have to find specific volume here. you cannot see the specific volume lines because this is a simplified version of the uh, psychrometry chart so we will see the apparatus dew point temperature so how to find it so this was the point and if we see and come this side where it is meeting it is meeting near 23 degree centigrade so our adp will be 23 degree centigrade okay now we will see how to find see sorry for the interruption Okay. So now, if you see here, you can see lines which are related to specific volume. If you follow this line, so you can see here where we are talking about this is point eight five, and here our line is somewhat here. So with that. you can find the specific volume with this lines which you can see here so this is 0.85 and our value is coming somewhat here so it is near about 0.87 so with all this i will explain now on one diagram all the things so here if you see the same thing which i have shown on these two diagrams first i have plotted this line which is 38 degree centigrade that is the dry bulb temperature initial one and this is the final one i joined this with a line and then we saw this particular point where it has met 26 degree and 24 degree centigrade wet bulb and with this we found this rh which was in between 80% and 90% so it is 85% specific humidity okay then we found specific humidity okay which is w2.018 kg per kg of dry air then we found the enthalpy by just seeing the on the enthalpy line where it is meeting so it was meeting somewhat between 72.5 or 73 so we have taken 73 kg per kg then specific 
volume okay we found with this particular line where it is intersecting so this we got as 0.87 meter cube per kg okay then we found apparatus dew point by extending this further and seeing where it is meeting this saturation curve okay so we got 23 degree centigrade now only thing remaining is bypass factor so to find the bypass factor you will see the formula bypass factor of cooling coil okay so first we have to see apparatus dew point apparatus dew point we already got apparatus dew point temperature adp is also called as effective surface temperature of cooling coil that is tdb3 so therefore tdb3 is equal to adp temperature is equal to 23 degree centigrade so bypass factor of cooling coil is equal to db2 minus tdb2 minus tdb3 upon tdb1 minus tdb3 so as you can see this is related to the initial and this is related to final and this is related to the cooling coil surface temperature so once we put the value because it is uh, the final temperature is given as 26 dry bulb and we got from the psychrometric chart this uh, adp as 23 from the data f uh, the initial temperature that is dry bulb temperature is given 38 and from the psychrometry chart we got ADP as 23 which is also called as effective surface temperature of cooling coil so from this after calculation we got the bypass factor as 0.2 so this is how we have solved the problem using the psychrometry chart hope that helped please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching